All right, I'm going to do a little update of my camper for those of you that's been following me, watching my videos. I made a few changes. I'm going to show you what I've changed and why I've changed it. It's uh, exactly three years to the day of my first camping trip in my little camper. Turkey season's here again. We, uh, we always camp just about the whole month of turkey season every weekend. But the little campers evolved, turned into a year-long process of building and rebuilding. But some of the things that have changed, I, uh, I added a window, this big window on the side. Uh, it was supposed to be another slide out. Never did get around to building it, and I thought a window would be better to have. Camped a few times during the summer, and it was extremely hot. So I added us a window. Nothing really changed on the inside. Uh, fixing to put in solar. Probably going to do a video of that. Installation of doing a... We'll put a 50-watt solar panel controller and everything to charge my battery. Keep me in good shape. Boondocking is the way I like to go, so I don't never plug in much. So. Still got my water tank. It works out so great, I, don't, I just can't figure out no way to make it better. Uh, even a bigger tank is not necessary because... As you can see in the video here, I camp close to water, so it's not a problem to refill five gallons when I need it. So um, Maybe planning on a propane upgrade, thinking about going to a smaller tank to make it lighter, and probably going to plumb this thing front and back for, so I can just screw lanterns onto it and, and light it up so I don't burn my juice. Uh, one thing I changed on the slide out, I put a put me a rain guard on top just to keep water from pouring into it. Uh, had never had a problem with it leaking, but I figured if it was going to leak, that's where it would leak. And it's just a, just a piece of plywood, thin plywood, that I, I painted, and then uh, I attached it with a with a tracking system. So it, just, it slides in and slides out, stored under the bed so it's, it's not in the way. If I don't need it, I don't put it on, but I am expecting some pretty bad showers tomorrow so figured I better waterproof it up uh, still got my shower only thing I've changed on it I put me a, a little holder for all my stuff in a, in a mat cut me a mat out so that water would drain out from under my feet instead of standing in a mud hole uh, I got a little light in here it's just a, one of those little cap lights but at night it lights it up nice so don't have no problem, no problem at all. I've got the same water system that I had. It uh, it just goes into the to the camper here. I got a 12 volt pump, of course, and my water runs out of the tank on the front that you just saw. So uh, it's a pretty simple setup, but it works super, super good. Added a vent here for my AC. If you watch my videos, I installed a 5,000 BTU AC unit. And I've got it out now because it's winter time, cold, and I'm expecting some 30s tonight, so I don't need AC. I uh, only use it about twice, three times a year, so I take it in and out. It's easy to do and no problems at all. I got a little cover that I put on the, over the hole, so it works out good. Put me an outside light in just to, to light up this side for you know taking a shower or whatever I'm doing out here. Night time, it's always good to have lights all the way around for, those of you that's watching that's uh, building your campers, I would recommend running wires to every side. Because I have added, I've added lights all the way around this thing since I built it. Luckily, the way I built it, it's easy to add on things, so uh, that's really not a problem. I had some questions about the galley. Uh, why I changed the pantry door. And there was a couple of reasons. Uh, in the downpour, it did want to leak a little bit, but it, it, it wasn't enough to, you know, cause any great big problems, but any leak's a bad leak, so I wanted to try to fix that, and I live in Florida, northwest Florida, so during the summer it gets awful humid, hot, and uh, it seemed the food that I stored in that, which is why I built it, would, uh, it would just go bad because of the humidity when I wasn't camping. Uh, in stores, I keep it in an outside uh, garage. And uh, it would just get so hot, the food would go bad. So I just 
couldn't see using having that door the way it was for if I couldn't store the food. And that was a that was the point to be able to store the food and all my stuff and not have to pack up a bunch of stuff. That's the way I like to camp. I like to go on a whim, hook up and go, and that just made it aggravating. So what I've done since I got me a giant ammo can, and I just keep my food in it, and I can take it in and out of the house. Uh, everyday stuff that you know that I'm going to need camping, I I take it out of here and uh, just keep it in the house, and then I just put a few things in when I when I get ready to go camping. That was one of the other things about the pantry door. It was heavy. I didn't like the way my food was spoiling and uh, and the little leak. So I don't know. I come up with this this idea here. Uh, it's a flat back camper, so I couldn't really do a, a door like a like you see on the teardrop. So I'd done a half door. Uh, half of it goes up and then the other two halves come out uh, kind of like a wind blocker that one's over there you can see it. it's got the air conditioner vent in it but like I said I've got it closed up right now but it works real great it, it, it don't leak everything closes up together and uh, so far I like it I like it pretty good put me an outside light here for when I'm cooking uh, that works real good and I built me a I guess it's a kitchen table it's a cooking table, I guess you could call it. But it holds my stove. Uh, I keep my two burner, and then I got my little turbo here for uh, cooking coffee in the morning. I'm stove poor. I got I got two burners there. I got one burner there, and then I got an extra, an extra back in there. I don't want to be without cooking. I always have to have something going. So, but the way I got this set up, I got my stove there, and then I got a dish pan here that's removable. It comes out. And uh, I can wash my dishes as I'm cooking. And then I got this little drying mat here. It's just uh, stainless steel expanding metal. I can put my stuff on it. dries out real nice. When I'm not using the dish pan, I've got a little insert that goes in there that's a cutting board. Uh, so it's I can use it either way. It's real handy. And, and I can keep my water on this. You know, everything's right here accessible. That's one of my things. When I'm cooking, I like everything to be handy. So... I make a lot of changes that way. Another thing that I've added, if you've seen my video about the uh, uh, little chuck box, I put this and I took it out, put it in place of my, my refrigerator, <laughs> my little uh, ice box. And uh, the ice box works real well, but I seem to always need another one anyhow to, to store a bunch of stuff because I like to camp three or four or five days at a time. So I needed a big cooler, so I, there was just a waste of space that back here. So I built this, and uh, it just takes up the same spot that the uh, the cooler did. And it's a removable chuck box. I keep everything in here that I need for cooking. Uh, I got a little stove that I keep underneath. I got uh, flour, sugar, cornmeal, gas bottle, and then I got coffee and, and stuff that I can whip up a quick meal while I'm hunting. So if I'm going to be away from my camper all day long, I just take this out, put it in my vehicle, and then I can I can still do my cooking and do everything that I need to do uh, without having to worry about running back and forth. So that works out real good. It's my, my removable chuck box. Still got my, my umbrella system up here. It works good. I've got a few things that just that work really, really well. And... Uh, that's one of them, my umbrella system and my water tank. I would recommend running water to anybody that's building one of these things. And like I say, when you're when you're in the your primary build, I would how I would put uh, wiring to all sides, outside for lights, and you know they're cheap. I mean these little lights you can get them on eBay for you know five six bucks, and you can even get the LED ones for you know fifteen. They don't burn no power. And I mean, it just it's easy to do when you're building. When you uh, when after you get it done, it's kind of hard to add things. So, and then uh, had some questions about security. My security uh, tongue here. I just unbolt it and take the tongue off when uh, when I get to where I'm going. So, if somebody wants it, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to work to get it. Uh, one other thing that I probably didn't show on the other one. I may have talked about it is my my grill. I got a, a removable a removable grill up here, stainless steel uh, mesh on the top. But uh, 
if you know on these teardrops uh, space is of the essence so I needed a place that I could put that where it would be out of the way and that just happened to be a perfect spot and I'm uh, fixing to take it off and put it over the fire to cook some chicken so it's handy it's always there when I need it I don't have to worry about forgetting it so anything I anything I don't have to forget is the better because I uh, I like to uh, I like to forget important things sometimes when I'm camping but that's part of it I guess but that's my new additions my new add-ons say I'm, I'm adding uh, my solar panel should be here probably today in fact I was hoping they'd be here before my trip but I'll probably do a short video on that and how to install it what I'm gonna do with it and and how it works uh, a lot of people have questions about how good solar panels work so I'm gonna put it to the test see what I can come up with well that's all my my new gadgets on my camper I hope you enjoyed it thanks <music>